Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shavya from Mirati. And uh, first of all, I would like to apologize that I did not upload a video last weekend. And what was I doing last weekend? Why did not I upload a video? I'll let you know. Shavya, has your DIY work done today? No. Yeah. Okay. DIY work done today? Don't shoot me. I'm tired. That is easy, is not working. Okay, yeah. Let's cut the crap and uh, let's start the airing. Let's see what are the two projects that I worked upon this weekend. Hello, Macrames. I'm going to use this ring that I have actually broken down my splatter and then took the sieve out from the sides and I'm going to use this small little hoop. This is basically used to hold your sheets together in a file folder or a binder somewhere. So I'm going to use, reuse this one. I had spare one kept at my place. I'm going to use these beautiful wooden bees that I picked up from Dollar Tree as you all know. So I'm going to start with this yarn that I picked up from Walmart and I think this one costed me around uh, three dollars for one per one skein i am how do you try this so you take a small hoop bring it on the top of this and there you go okay so what you do is you take a small needle you can do it with the help of a needle or you can do it with the help of a small U pins that you have at home, or you can do it with the help of any wire. Bring the yarn pieces out and then push the beads towards the yarn. And then pull the two strands of the yarn back together. See? Yeah. I'm going to use one more. Well, you're done. If you want, you can add more beads, but I think three are sufficient. Now you need to tie the ends of this yarn to the bigger hoop. So this one's ready. Now I have to add this wooden stick that I picked up during my hiking trip and place it right here to give it more organic look. You can use your choice of color in this macrame. I am going to use these two. Plus, I might add the one that initially I used to tie these knots around it. For this project, I'm going to create a pendant light. I've been actually waiting to create one since the day my portable um, portable cord has arrived. First of all, I'm going to try and take a parchment paper and wrap it up. I'm going to take a parchment paper and wrap it around.
So I just realized that parchment paper is a fail. I cannot actually use it. How dumb of me of not reading it is a non-stick parchment paper. So I have to come up with other solutions. Okay, so I used a cellophane sheet, or you can call it a poly bag, or a plastic sheet to wrap it uh, to wrap it around this trash can. And now I'm going to start wrapping the jute around it. Yeah, uh, jute is my thing. I know my last video was also a jute lamp, but now I'm going to create a jute pendant light. For this one, you have to wet your jute cord in Pevacol or any kind of glue. I'm using transparent glue clear glue so that it is not visible at the end i know it is it looks kind of messy but yes trust me the outcome will definitely be the one that you've been looking for so make sure you're leaving enough space here at the center so that you can pull your pendant cord across it I have finished wrapping the jute around the trash can and now I'm going to spray the adhesive glue and leave it for about uh, six to seven hours for the glue to dry out and then we'll remove it from this trash can. So I left this intact for the whole night and now I'm going to take this off from the trash can. Let's see if this is successful. Okay, I didn't expect this to come out so easily and so quickly. See, this one's ready and now I'm going to hang these small tassels on the edge of it. To Since you have to pull in the pendant rope through this, so you, you would want to give a strong base here and I would suggest you that you can attach a small circle of cardboard on the base from inside 